And today, I'm going to make a dish with bacala, which is salt cod. Salt cod, and it comes in a box just like this when you go to the store and get it. And then you have to do something to it when you take it out. You've got to rehydrate it. So that means that you have to take the fish and put it in water. And you have to do that by changing the water several times until you get all of that salt out. And letting so it soak for let it soak. So it's let it soak overnight, then go back the next day, change the water, let it soak again. And you'll know it's it's ready to go when the water is not cloudy anymore. So now I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna put this in a pan. If you wanna turn on the gas for me there. We're gonna take this fish and we're gonna cook it just with some lemon slices. Mm -hmm and some bay leaf, and you just take it like that, put it right in the pan. And I'm just gonna let this fish cook, oh, maybe for about 10, 15 minutes. I don't want it to cook on a high heat. I wanna do that over a medium low heat. And you see how nice this fish is now flaking. It's easy, mm -hmm. it comes apart. Now, so for this, we wanna have some olive oil which we have here, some extra virgin olive oil. And I just put it in a tall vessel container like this because I'm gonna use my, uh, my, my blender for this. I like this for this. And then some capers, and we all know that capers and fish go together beautifully, don't they? They certainly do. If you've never had capers, you've gotta try them. I like to use the ones in salt, again, going along with mm -hmm. the salt idea. But when you bring them home, you wanna really rinse them off and dry them. And they have a very pungent taste, but they're great against this fish and in dishes where you want to pick up flavor. So we have our capers in there, and then the next thing we want are some anchovies, one of my favorites. What about you, Jasper? I love anchovies. All right, so we're going to put two or three. If you don't like anchovies, you could leave this out, but I really think this is a, a great part of the sauce. So there's one, and these are anchovies in oil, two. And here's the third one. If you want more, you can put more in. And then we want some flat leaf Italian parsley. That goes in. The mm -hmm. sauce is just very quick. Some garlic. Yeah. And a little bit of either basil or you could do mint with mint, this. Yeah. So here we go. Now I'm gonna add some lemon juice. So a little lemon juice goes in there. We want to have some tomatoes, whoops. Some tomatoes, just some diced up plum tomatoes. Then you want some cooked potatoes. Then we have golden raisins. They go in, so now you can start to see that this is going to be a salad that has kind of a sweet and sour taste to it. And then the last thing we want to add in there are some oil cured black olives, they go in. So now the dressing goes on the salad. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. It's so pretty. And then Beautiful. you just toss this with a couple spoons. And I like to serve this on a bed of greens. And here is some radicchio. I'm just gonna cut that up, a little bit of that. Let me get out another cutting board. Radicchio is a member of the chicory family, so I just like to take that and just shred it or cut it in thin pieces. Spread it in a nice dish, a nice serving dish. Just shredded like that all the way around. Okay, so now that goes right over the radicchio, mm. all over. And that's it, then you put this in the refrigerator and you can make this several hours ahead of time. So if you want to take it out, if you want to make it ahead of time, you're serving it for company. It's a great first course on a summer day when you don't want to be in the kitchen all day long. You've soaked the fish ahead of time. And it's just perfect. And it's very, it's very Italian. So that's why beautiful. I love it. It's very beautiful. That looks gorgeous.